Hey guys, it's Skulker 3 and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Blackwell Deception. In the last part, we crashed a yacht. Well, kind of. We. Also a ghost. But that's not exactly going to be the one they're going to listen to. Uh, we also got a call from Jeremy Sams, who used to work at the same newspaper that we used to work at, asking for some help with an article. So uh, we're going to go be good neighbours and go do that. It's a good thing we happen to know where he lives. Unless he said... He probably texted us his address, actually. Come think open. of it. Come on in. I'll be out in a sec. Is this how high-rolling reporters live nowadays? Hmm? Ah. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. I haven't I been feeling well, as I said. Who's your, your friend? friend? Um... Is something wrong? I mean... You... There's a... Let's just say there's something you and Joey very much have in common, Jeremy. Jeremy, what happened to you? Happened? Nothing, Nothing happened. happened. I got, I got sick. sick. I just, I just caught a nasty bug or something. Horrible timing. I'm on the verge of something really big. That's why I need your help. You need our help, all right. Sorry, but who are you? I'm with her. This is Joey. He's kind of my... He, uh, he, uh... Assistant. An assistant? Really? You I can't exactly say ghost pal, can I? You could say that. Well, it's well, nice to meet you, Joey. Joey. I like the hat. Anyway, how about we get down to business? Sure, sounds good, All Jeremy. Right, Jeremy, tell me about this article of yours. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Do you know where the City Post news office is? I think so. This flu is making it hard to remember everything, but I kept pretty good notes. Just go up there and tell them I sent you. My notebook is on my desk. I go myself, but... I'm not exactly up to snuff. Snuff is the word. Joey! What? So what do you say? Will you help me? Yes, of course I'll help. It's what I do. I mean, the whole point of that sentence isn't exactly gonna hit home for Jeremy for quite a while, I imagine. But, um... So, Jeremy. So, Jeremy, tell me about yourself. We never got much of a chance to talk back then. Me? Um, I was born upstate, moved here after college, wrote freelance for a bunch of papers, including the Village Eye. Not much else to tell, really. One thing I found interesting is, like, that as we've gone along, the ghosts we've met have been a lot more sort of lucid than like the very first ones. Like, um, back in the very first Blackwell Legacy, um, quite a few, quite a lot of the time, the ghosts didn't say like full sentences even, or they said they spoke in very cryptic ways. Um, but sort of as we've gone on, they've been a lot more just quite normal. They didn't know they were dead, but. So, like, Jeremy seems perfectly fine. Like, this is a conversation we could perfectly be having with an alive person. We just happen to be talking to a ghost. Anyway. Well, I better get going. Thanks. I really appreciate this, Rosangela. Yeah, look, you can call me Rosa. All right. Rosa it is, then. Can we call you Jezza? I think even if we could, I wouldn't want to, but... Just checking oh where the boundaries God. are. Is that me? I mean, us? Yeah. You remember the 05 Christmas party? Yeah, that was a while ago. I was going through 2005, I think. when I came across yours. That's why I thought to call you. I see. That's convenient. But also, how did you go through it when you were not alive? It's Jeremy, back when he was alive. I don't even remember getting this picture taken. Sorry, what did you just say about being alive? Don't worry, Jeremy, it's fine. Ugh. What a horrible picture of me. I don't remember if that's actually a necessary thing to look at, but I decided to anyway. Okay, anyway, we've got to head over to the city post and hey, see look, if we can get anything done. Before, before you go, go I, just I just want, want to, to, well, apologize. I know it's a bit weird calling you up and asking you such a big favor like this. Don't worry about it. Well, when I'm over this flu, I'll make it up to you. I promise. No, you don't have to do that, really. Just... just take care of yourself. 
Not that much could likely happen to you either way. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I suppose. You know where that newspaper office is? Yeah. Then let's hop to it. So, somehow I get the feeling this you? isn't gonna go very smoothly. Just, you know, things don't tend to work out immediately and happily for Rosa and Joey, so... What do you know about Jeremy Sams? Jeremy? He works here. His office is just up there on the second floor, but I haven't seen him in a few days. So you don't know where he is now? I have no idea. If you'd like to leave him a message, I'll let him know you stopped by. Um, so from the sounds of it, she doesn't know Jeremy's dead. Which means that he died, at least in the last few days. I was told you'd be expecting me. My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, I wasn't told anything. Really? I need to go inside and pick up some notes. Sorry, but if you don't have permission to be here, I can't let you in. Um... Yeah, I... There's the problem. <laughs> There's the kicker. Being dead, Jeremy can't exactly leave a phone call with a non-medium or ghost, so... Listen. Do you know anything about Jeremy's death? Huh? Jeremy's death. I'm kind of looking into it. Jeremy's dead? Are you serious? You mean you don't know? Of course not! What happened to him? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? How did he die? What happened? I... Don't... All I know is I went to Where his house he and he was I a don't ghost. Know. Right. This is sick. I think you should get out of here before I call security. That's my girl, making friends wherever she goes. I really do need to see Jeremy's notes. Maybe you could get them for me? No, I can't. Okay. Looks like we need to make I'll another going, tactic here. Bye. Well, maybe to help a ghost, we need a ghost. Because Joey doesn't need clearance. Because no one or nothing can stop him. So, let's see. I wonder it's if one this of them is his desk. Computer things. I'm just trying to find his desk. It's a press pass. Can we take that? Looks like a press pass. Well, obviously not, because... Nope, still a ghost. Still can't pick that up. Joey says a few funny things if you keep trying to pick stuff up. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Which, I'm not going to bother showing off necessarily, but it might happen from me just trying to interact with stuff and not being Even able to. Even if I to. could use that, I wouldn't know how. Like that. Um, it's one of them... I, I thought Even this if was I his could desk, but I guess it isn't. Let's an see. office cubicle. Empty. Oh, here we go. It's the notebook that Jeremy asked us to find. It's closed right now. I can't read what's inside. Okay, let's see if we can find other stuff. 7 p.m., the High Line. Okay. So now we can go to the High Line Park, which sounds like it was important to Jeremy somehow. So we'd probably best go check it out, because it might be important. As his note said, this might be it. Also, that must have been incredibly awkward, just like the receptionist asked her to leave, and she just sort of stood there. Not even looking at the receptionist, just sort of staring blankly into the middle distance. Hello there. Oh no. Yeah, this is... Jeremy. I'm so sorry. Not a huge surprise. Excuse me, officer? It's Detective. Detective Durkin. And you shouldn't be up here at this hour. I think it's familiar about the name Durkin. Eh, probably nothing. Did something happen here? No, I'm doing street art. Of course something happened. You should run along home. You don't want the same thing to happen to you. I'd think that was a threat if you weren't a detective, but... Someone died, didn't they? Gee, what tipped you off? Believe me when I say you don't want to be involved. Kinda do, though. Could you tell me who it was? Couldn't, even if I wanted to. Because we don't know. Ooh, we know, so we know! So uh, what do you call it, uh, John Doe? Yeah, sure, whatever. I think I know who the victim was. You do, huh? His name was Jeremy Sams. And how do you know this? Because it's always ghosts! just do. You just do. Yes. What is it about Pox that brings out all the crazies? I'm positive the victim is Jeremy. Maybe I can ID the body. You want to come look at the body? You know how crazy you sound? I do. You come out of nowhere and say you know a stiff by looking at an outline on pavement? Yeah, sounds crazy. Even if you could ID the guy, it wouldn't hold up. 
I'm offering information here. Why won't you take it? You think you're the only crackpot with a theory? Yes. We have procedures. We'll release a photograph and then get a proper ID. Now run along. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna save a lot of time. I'm offering information here. Why won't you take? You think you? We have now run up. Blah, blah blah. Right. I'll be back. It's a free country. Well. Oh, we can call Jeremy. Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sams. Please leave a message. Okay, I'm not really sure what I was expecting, but. I mean, that seems about fair. Well, he needs an ID. Maybe we can get something from here. Come on in. Such oh, as a photograph. Hi, Rosa. Make, Make yourself, yourself at home. home. Jeremy, could I have this photo? Really? You want it? If it's okay. Sure. I've got copies somewhere. Go right ahead. I don't know if we could actually have gotten that before we needed proof of his ID, but either way, we now have a picture of the guy, and if it matches the body, then we'll look incredibly suspicious because we've just turned up to a murder site and said, oh yeah, no, just looking at that chalk outline, I know who died, it's this guy. I mean, it's not something you can just easily explain away, Rosa, so Is good luck. Is this the same man you found? Let me see that. That's him, all right. What did you say his name was? Jeremy Sams. Jeremy Sams. And what's your relation to him? We used to work together. Hmm. You know any of his family? Anyone we can notify or speak to? I know he was a reporter for the City Post. Right. I'll give him a call. And we're gonna have to follow up with you, too. You got a number? Here's my card. Spiritual services, huh? Why do I always end up with the nuts? Anyway, You wouldn't say right. that if you could Don't see our friend back long. there. It's safe. Or the victim, for that matter. Um, you're welcome. In any case, well, now we can call Detective Durkin whenever we want, so that could be fun. But, more importantly, someone has called the City Post now and confirmed that Jeremy Sams is indeed dead. Oh, it's you. I just got off the phone with the police. You were right. Jeremy is really dead. I just saw him two days ago. He was always nice to me. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. About before, I was a complete jerk. Why didn't you say it was murder? I wasn't sure at the time. Police seemed pretty sure. You said you were investigating his death? Yes. I wanted to take a look at his desk. Right. I'll buzz you in. The place is empty. I'm just here holding the phones. Take as much time as you need. Just find whoever did this, okay? I'll do my best. It's what we do. Well, more so out of the actual thing we do happening to coincide with finding who did it. But either way, now we can interact with all the stuff that Joey couldn't. Because we have flesh hands. Not weird ghost spirit hands. Such as this press pass. There we go. Now we have a press pass. We can also... Take a notebook, which is precisely what we were asked to find oh so long ago. Now. All right, Jeremy, what were you up to? Let's see if it was worth getting killed over. According to this, Jeremy interviewed a woman named Penelope Haynes. So, Penelope Haynes, so that's someone to investigate. PH is presumably Penelope Haynes over and over again. Uh, follow up. We don't know who the follow-up is, but that's somewhat important. It says that Jeremy followed up with someone, and whoever it was tried to scam him. Jeremy lost his phone somewhere. I wonder if anyone found it. Okay. Well, in any case, let's look up Penelope Haynes and see if that gets us anywhere. Because we have Oogle! We have Oogle. Penelope Haynes. No results found. Cool. Well... Actually, let's see if we have any new emails. We do! Ah, yeah. Um, sorry about that. Uh, we'd buy you a new one, but I don't think we could afford it. Hey, Nishanti! Okay, so Nishanti isn't going to be in this game because she's currently in Jaipur, so... I hope she's having fun, though. Um, in any case, 
we can't get any information from Google. So, if we can't get information from the world's biggest search engine in this alternate reality, um, then maybe there's one other source we can get that information from. But we'll be saving that for the next part, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for part three of Let's Play Blackwell Deception. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.